Hello guys, Sue Jerry speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 175. And today we read you Little Man of Disneyland. So let's read it now. Got, shall we? So we got for us. Little Man of Disneyland is by Anne North Benwood, illustrated by the Walt Disney Studio, adapted by Dick Kelsley. Now this is a classic book. You know, that's me of course. So there you go with that. Now, copyright 2015. This is a 15, 60 year anniversary of this book. But anyway, Patrick Begora, I happy that was his name, woke up for one bright morning feeling very fine. He fixed himself a bit of breakfast and set out for his morning stroll. Well, okay. He's a replicant, of course, so there you go with that. So, um, yeah, just want to know about that in any way. Next page. Anyway, when he came to the doorway of his song, song small house, um, and the roofs of this orange, orange um, tree, Patrick stretched his arms, stretched his arms, and swallowed his chest with a branch of fresh morning air, okay? This is his then he left his pipe, okay? But the pipe almost fell out of his mouth. Wow, okay. And his arms rose straight out of, it, of the air, okay? But so shocked that the, when, he, at, when he's out of sight and he saw there was people at the orange grove. Pe big people straying around, around his, as he as they owned the place. Donald Duck Goofy and Pluto, you know, there seems a little difference. That whole tree difference. So there you go in the whole thing. Next page. Anyway, well, Patrick Regara was not the last of the little people left in all the movie land from nothing. He had courage. What did people Patrick Regara? So he stepped right into those big people to, to find out what, what, what this is all about. At first, they wouldn't even look, look at him. But Patrick would take care of it, okay? Take care of that, excuse me. He stepped down hard right, okay? On the foot of one, okay? Ow, cried Donald Duck. Hmm. I've been stung most of but most of the bees around here. He looked down at them. Then, what's this? He cried. Who's in it? world are you? Who in the world? Who in the world are you? Wow. And I don't know what happened to Donald at this point. You know, it's a leprechaun, of course. The other leprechaun difference with no orange. So that's me, of course. Next page. Anyway, is that Mickey? Okay. Who are your Yourself in the proper question, said Patrick Vergara, swipe back. Hmm. Excuse me. This is my home, after all, has been has been these many years. And what, may I ask, are you doing here? I think as you own this place without so much of a by leave for Patrick Vergara, which is me. Will we cry, Donald Duck? Don't you, what? Don't you go to the movies? Don't you watch TV? Don't you read books or newspapers? Don't you know Goofy or Pluto and Pluto? Don't you know Donald Duck? Wow, no," said Patrick, and he just blew the smoke right, right out of Donald's face. Wow, very harsh right there, Patrick. You gotta do something about this. Next page, anyway. My name is Mickey Mouse, sir," said one of the other people. Big people, stooping down to hold in his hand. Okay. Excuse me. Anyway, so this is your home here, Mister uh, Begar. That it is," said Patrick Begar, and I like the little piece of quiet. I thank you all to leave at once. I don't know. What's still happen? Well," said Mickey. I'm afraid we can't do that, 
you see, we're going to start building here soon. Going to move all those whole old trees. Um, moving these trees, start building here. Quiet Patrick Vergara. Jumping up and down in the purple rage. Wow. Oh, no, you don't. Not while I'm around. I felt worried for Patrick at this point. You just have to do something about it, you know. That's me, of course. I do not understand about the next this next page. Why? And what what you can do to stop us, little fellow? Asked Donald Duck with a chuckle. Learn it in some in a chunky way. I'll show you, said Patrick, with a snap of the, his fingers. And down the heap with Pat Donald Duck for the subtle handle he splattered just like that. Man, that was so harsh to Patrick. Jesus. Anyway, what happened? Cried Dahl, picking himself up. Let me let this be a lesson to you, said Patrick Bergara. Oh, that don't mind me and him, said Goofy. Hmm. Let's start digging up these trees. Oh, man. What was it uh, you had planned to build here? Some sort of school, perhaps? Asked Patrick. Well, wow. I don't know what to do next between this whole alley for Donald and Patrick be harsh on these characters I like as a kid growing up. Jesus. Next page. Anyway. No, a wonderful place called Disneyland. Exactly. If it wasn't for Disneyland for 60 years, well, over 60 plus years, we wouldn't be here today. I mean, it came out in 1955, so it's got to be so nearly close to be 70 in, in 2025. So there you go on that. Anyway, said Mickey, with all sorts of marvelous things for fun. Exactly. Rocket trips in the moon. For one, and a wonderful Wild West stagecoach ride, a magic power ship that can really fly in the truth of the mind. Of the seven drawers. Exactly. You know. You just have to soften. You know. Rocket trip. Flying pirate ship. You must be out of your head. My boy. Said Patrick Regal. There is no such things. First of all. There is such things nowadays. Secondly. You have to figure your head. And grammar wise. Leprechaun. You just have to do something. You know. Come on and see. We'll show you who the plans. Get back in the studio, said Mickey Mouse. Wow. Before he knew what he was, what was about, Patrick Regard found himself walking around with uh, Mickey and the rest. But he stopped short when they opened the door in a strange looking bubble of glass. Okay. That doesn't make sense in any way. You just have to do something, Leprechaun. So. And Mickey, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. You just have to do something about it. Next page. Anyway. Oh, no, you don't, he cried in alarm. I'm not going there. What is it anyway? It's a helicopter, a kind of airplane. Exactly. Come on with the, the ride, said Mickey. When he saw the, all the rest of them powering in, Patrick Rabar went as well. Soon when the blur and the rushing of blades up in the helicopter stood up in the air and the ground dropped away below. Hmm. My, but you should have been heard Patrick yell then. Oh, God. Hmm. He had never dreamed of such a thing. But soon he was so busy watching the sight. Hmm. They flew over oil wells city streets and torn brown hills. Hmm. Then he has no time to what be scared. I have to agree with Patrick in these time frame. You just have to do something about it. So there you go. It's it's a good example right there. So there you go, Patrick. Next page. Anyway. Then then down they squat in the studio, which is Walt Disney 
studios back in the day from 1920s to the present, you know. And soon Patrick found himself deep in Disneyland plans. The likes of which he had never seen before. Okay. There was rows of pretty little shops. Wandering rivers. And the overheard railroad train. So many wandering things that sees that Patrick's her head was spinning. Wow. And this is what you were planning to build when you wrote up my orange trees. Okay. He asked, hmm, yes, Mickey, said Mickey, that's our plan. Then go ahead, lad, if you can, said Patrick Bogar. Um, the place is yours. Uh, there's just one little thing I asked. May I build a wee, strong little house that lives very, qui very quietly after you have finished your Disneyland? Well, no, we'll just see what happens, um, Leprechaun. You just have to do something. Makes sense, Nate. What? Next page. Anyway. Fine, said Mickey. We'll build you the house. How about one of these? Okay, makes sense, Nate. What? No, I know, said Patrick Begar. I like a place of our sight, heading away, so to speak. Mm hmm. All right, said Mickey. Just as you say, so that so they shook hands on it. The bargain was made, so they all flew back to Disneyland site. And the next morning, the work began. Every day, Patrick came to all out to watch. Okay, and with every day they passed, that passed, it seemed the pictures changed. From one day, the railway station went up. The entrance to Disneyland, they almost in the blink of the eye, Main Street was taking shape. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what, when Disneyland was built, you know. The castle was built, everything, you know. You just have to do something about it, you know. And that makes sense to me, you know. Was there something about it, you know. In this book, see here. Next page. Anyway. Soon as the time for the last tree to, t to come, come out, the, the one with Patrick's poem is at this roots. Sorry, Pat, said Mickey. It's got to go. But we'll find you a good new place. Don't bother, said Patrick. I'll pick one myself. Please, we would not stay there, stay where his new house was. Hmm. He's turning out his whole household. Uh, goods and a uh, wee wheelbarrow. Hmm. It's all day he sat in the barrel shade. Hmm. And at night, um, when everyone had gone home, uh, Patrick wheeled his wee barrel through the shadows of Disneyland to the street secret spot he picked for this home. Yeah, I felt worried for this leprechaun. You just have to do something about it. And here comes the last page of the book. Um, so when you visit Disneyland, keep your eyes open wide. Maybe you'll see a wee man in green, which is a leprechaun, that is, smoking a small clay pipe. Maybe you'll follow him when he goes home and find out where he lives. If you do, you'll be only, uh, you'll be only one, um, let me just see here. There we go. Only one in the world who's found Patrick Regardless home. You know, it's kind of dead right now for this home. It, it just feel worried about it. So that was uh, Little Man of Disneyland. What do you think about this book? It was amazing. And over the years, it has been like 60, 8, 67 years of being Disneyland. If it wasn't Disneyland today, there would have been no Disneyland today. That was this uh, Bedtime Stories, episode number 135. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. The next one's going to be Lunch Tom Bo JP Slash Club, episode number 175. And then 
I mean, okay, excuse me. Four, okay. Four and three, and then we'll do Weekend Celebration episode 116. And then we'll do bedtime stories. First, um, day number nine of bet of my birthday special. Until next time, Sue Jones and Bobby Pizza Baby. Good movies, Sue. Till then, out. See ya.